you know, our music system only uses 12 notes. E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, and then they repeat. E, F, F sharp, G. We call that the chromatic scale. And it's a tiny little bit of theory that you now know. You're not mastered, but you now know um, that we can use to make our guitar playing a lot more interesting. Most chords are easy to master and learn. When you're playing a new song and it has a new way to play a, a chord, jump on it. Because once you've learned that chord, you get the other 11 free. And here's what I mean. This is a G chord. If we slide everything up one, it becomes the next chord. So G, using the chromatic scale, becomes G sharp. Move it up again, A. Well, that works if it's a minor. G minor, G sharp minor, A minor. Every single chord. It works with every variation. So when you learn how to play this G chord in this variation, you know how to play G sharp chord, F chord, E chord, all of them. Very cool, very easy. And use this in the middle of your songs to vary the way you play the chords, to keep it interesting for yourself, challenging for yourself, and it creates, as you go up and down the neck, it creates um, more interest. So use the link if you need to learn the chromatic scale below, and then learn a new chord and add one to it. One word of caution, when you're learning a new chord and it's open, it uses open strings, don't forget that that nut is the same as a finger. So when you, let's say you were just learning this E chord and you want to make it into an F chord, you go E, F, but you have to bring the nut. So you use your first finger to add one to that nut to make the next chord and then you go on that's all there is to it enjoy